The Czechoslovakian Union Conference, located in Prague, Czech Republic, is the destination for today's episode of Mission Sunlight. This region boasts a population of nearly 16 million people. Today, there are about 200 Seventh-day Adventist congregations with more than 9,600 baptized members. In this region, we have a very strong Christian tradition because people in this region are Christian for more than 11 centuries here. But today in this society, very many people they are a bit upset because of the historical experience and it was rather negative for them. So today in the Czech Republic and also a little bit in Slovakia, many people they don't like the organized church, the Christianism. Sharing the good news of Jesus may be a challenge, but this union is using a creative method known as the Enri Road Project to strengthen Seventh-day Adventist students who are studying at public universities, as well as reaching other students who may not be active in their faith. And we have very many young people in this church, but the problem is that very often when they start to study at the university, for them there is the first possibility to be outside of the home, of the home church, and very often they leave the church, they don't keep in touch, and we have great opportunity to be with them and to give them the opportunity to study the Bible, to serve, to have the community, the fellowship. The name Enri is taken from the Latin acronym on the cross at Jesus' crucifixion. These young adults have committed to finding paths and roadways to share Jesus' love and sacrifice with their peers. Enri Road is an organization of Enri Road is an organization of students whose purpose is to spend time enjoying each other's company as well as getting to know Jesus Christ more. We want to reach the young people that are studying here. Many kids in high school start to party and get involved in meaningless activities. This causes a lot of them to leave the church. We want to give them a chance to collaborate and make friendships with us, to make something that we believe is good and has value. Students who become involved in Enri Road are excited about what is happening. Michael has been involved with Enri Road for three years. Study, uh, I'm studying humanitarianism and social work. It's good for me to have the opportunity to study these things because I want to help people. The first year I came here, I had a meeting with our pastor. He invited me to have a cup of coffee and chat about some things. He told me that it would be good to prepare some activities for the young people here in Alamuk. Michael decided to answer his pastor's challenge and get involved. I said, okay, it's okay with me. So I started with one program. Michael made sure the topics were relevant to the other young adults he was trying to reach. Some of the topics I covered were on drugs, smoking, relationships, how to spend free time, the Bible, and Jesus Christ. These are all topics that I think are important to discuss with young people. Michael is seeing a double benefit in his ministry to reach other young adults. Every week we've had around seven people meet and discuss on these topics. I'm very excited that we can gather together to read and talk about all these great things Jesus has done for us. As a Christian, I feel that it's my duty to be a witness through my life. This organization gives me the opportunity to read the Bible with others, learn more about Jesus, and pray and spend time together as a group. Michael finds that being involved in ministry changes his life too. I pray for Jesus to come into my heart so that he can use me. When I wake up in the morning, I pray, Jesus, enter into my heart. Help me to be a good witness for you and give me the opportunity to tell others about you. Linka is another student who has been involved with Enri Road for three years. It's good to be here with young people. We've been studying the Bible in small groups of three to five people, which has been very good for my personal life with Christ. It's about studying and it's about praying with young people it's about having a good time together. Being involved with Enri Road helps Linka reach out to friends and classmates and tell them about her friend, Jesus. I have the opportunity to speak with young people at school with my non-Christian friends here in Olomouc and also with my parents and friends back in my home village. Have you ever been chatting with a friend and wondering if you should invite them to Bible study or not? Annette Pavlikova was invited by a friend to come to Enri Road. Her decision to attend is one she will never regret. I had been chatting with a friend when he invited me to attend a Bible course. I wondered if I should or shouldn't go, but I decided to go, and it changed my life. 
I didn't have a lot of friends. At Enry Road, I met a lot of new friends who have been very supportive and have also been more involved in studying the Bible. Annette found much more than a group of friends at Enry Road. I am excited about my new experiences with God and with His whole scripture. I would really recommend this course to everybody. They can meet some young people who believe in God. They can unite together in Jesus' name so they can serve together all over the Czech Republic and Slovakia. University students often don't have a lot of time to do things outside of their studies. At Inri Road, they're able to meet other Christians. They have somewhere they can be during the week so they can grow, share, and support each other. Peter Polina found his spiritual life revived when he began attending Inri Road. I was part of our church for many years, but never had a close connection with our pastor. I was missing this relationship. Peter had the opportunity to visit the United States. When he returned to Czech Republic, he met a student who was attending Inri Road. I met a girl from Inri Road who invited me to some of their meetings. This is the first time I met them. I was then invited to visit the introduction to the Bible course, which was not far from here. I had a chance to get closer to God and the Enry Road people and got to know them better. It really changed my life because now I had something to live for. I had a new energy to life. For one year, Peter attended Enry Road but didn't become fully involved. Then things changed. I went to Enry Road meetings for a year before I decided to become one of the leaders. It changed my life and I knew that it could change other young people's lives as well. That's why I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to reach young people's hearts and give them a chance to know God better. We now have another introduction to the Bible course, which will start in one month, and we already have a lot of people who are interested in coming. Peter was so excited about what was happening in his life that he wanted to explore other ways to tell people about Jesus. As a part of Enri Road, I had the chance, with nine other people, to visit Kenya on a mission trip. We preached in English, and it was translated into Swahili for the local people. I have to say that it was the most powerful thing that has ever happened to me. It changed my life more than anything before because I could experience God like never before. While attending college, I invited my roommates to our group meetings. One of them came to our meetings for about half a year. We had some Bible studies with him and he began to learn about Jesus. I know that he was an atheist, but now he tells me that he believes in God and that he believes the Bible is true. He studied the evolutionary theory but now he believes that Jesus Christ is the Creator. It is changing his life and his mind, but this is only through God's work. Inri Road has changed my life, so now I would love to see the Inri Road group grow and expand to every youth in the Czech Republic and even to Slovakia. There is a threefold benefit to the Inri Road ministry. Students are staying connected to their Adventist family and friends, performing acts of discipleship and through this spiritual exercise, they're making new friends for the kingdom. If I can ask even other people, other churches in this world to pray for us, it's for the new encouragement for us. Because sometimes we are trying to do things, to reach people, to work for God. But it seems to us that sometimes we don't see results. We are working, there are many people from our local churches. They are sacrificing themselves, they are doing everything they can, they are praying. And sometimes they say, okay, but that's enough. We don't know how to go on now. And I think that we need the, all those prayers for us, as well as for this society. Because it's not the atheistic society anymore. There are people that are still seeking something spiritual, but they are not happy with the picture of the Christianity they know from the history. So I believe that God, He can still make some miracles and to touch their hearts. I want to thank the people who support Enri Road through their finances and through other means. Because of you, we can share the good news of the gospel to those in the Czech Republic. There are many people who don't want to hear about God and don't want anything to do with Christians, which makes our work very difficult. We really appreciate everything you do for us. If we have no money, we will not be able to reach out to other cities. I'm very happy that everybody as the whole church family, we can contribute and I want to thank you for the possibility that you are able to bring something also and to contribute to support this ministry of Inri Road. And I am very happy that God gives us those possibilities and I want to 
pray that you will be also blessed by supporting this kind of ministry. Young adults in a former communist country are excited about telling others about Jesus. How will you help them continue their mission? Remember them daily in your prayers and give generously on Sabbath, September 28th. Reporting from the Czechoslovakian Union Conference, this is Mission Sunlight.